Jamie has joined me for this Confirm Your Type video. And again, these are instructional videos where I am here to teach you how I recognize the different expressions of the four types and teach you how to do this yourself so you can confirm your own type, that you don't need me to confirm your type. So these are instructional in nature, and so please set that intention that you will learn what you need to learn and if this is supportive to you to help you see your type, it will be shown to you. So Jamie's with me today. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Carol. Now, Jamie, um, <clears throat> just so our viewers have a little bit of background in your process, because um, I'm going to help you how your own process may have misguided you. Uh, you decided you were a type 3, is what I understand? That's sort of the... My husband tells me I'm a type 3. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Has um... he read the books? He hasn't read the book. Okay. He's watched a couple of the online course videos because I had my children watch it with me. Yes. And they've all picked their type, but I'm still confused. Okay. So you deferred to someone else. That's um, a common misstep that people make that you're convinced that someone else knows you better than yourself. And now he, and you're, you're actually referencing someone that has limited information, well, I very limited information. I didn't t ask him. He just said, oh, yeah, you do that. Oh, yeah, you do that when I was reading part of the book to him. And he, right. without my asking... Well, no, I'm glad me. you're bringing this up so. because this is common that if you're uncertain, you'll, you'll think because you're trying to land on something, when you're in your uncertainty, you'll pay attention to other people, give them too much um, precedence in that decision which yeah. you've done. Yes, I've done that. You've done that, which I'm, you know, it's good we're addressing this because it is a common way people mistype themselves is, well, okay, I'll go with that. And yet, how's it feeling to you? Well, I don't like the type three clothes. Okay. I don't like the type three jewelry. I don't right. like the type three images. I, it just, although I act a little bit abruptly um, in my parenting style with my children, type three just doesn't feel comfortable with me. Okay. But Good. I, I don't glad. know where to search. <laughs> okay. Well, let me help you today and help our viewers understand how I know that you're a type four. Okay. You're not a type three. <laughs> Lovely. Now I want to first okay. uh, point out that notice how Jamie's sitting. It's very common posture for type fours that you're very square. You're very balanced. You, uh, nothing's crossed, no limbs are crossed. Both feet okay. are on the floor. Um, you're quite, your posture tends to be more erect. Um, so you're very, you're very sh just balanced and, and set in a balanced posture. Okay. Okay, so that's very common. And again, don't rule, you know, well, I don't do that, so I can't be type. See, I, but this is very type common. Type four makes a lot of sense for me. Let me continue to point out, and then we'll chat about that. Oh, why? Okay. Why you're getting it now? Okay. Now you don't like any of the type three movement because obviously it's not your movement. It's too much. There's too much going on with it. Your movement is very exact. It's balance, exact, parallel lines is what I'm looking for. Now let's talk about your facial features. Okay. I'm looking for parallel lines and balance. So right away when we look just, you know, we're not going to measure Jamie's face. This isn't based on exact measurements, but by appearance, your features are very balanced. Meaning if we drew a line down the middle of your face, there's the same placement by just looking at you with my eyes, I'm not going to measure it because that's not what we're talking about. It's not an exact placement, but we see symmetry. Now I'm going to look for parallel lines in your features. And you have many. Um, and you're being very type four right now. I love it. See? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for just being yourself. This makes it so easy. So we're going to look for parallel lines first in your face shape. And you, I see stronger parallel lines and other type fours, but I see them in your forehead. It's more of a rectangular forehead. If we take, take put your hair back, you can see the parallel. Now I'm gonna look for parallel lines across your face. So we've got one here, a parallel line. Your eyes are set on a parallel line. 
the bottom of your nose is a flat surface, although it comes up a little bit. It's a parallel line, a parallel line. Now, if you turn to the side, if we can see your profile, well, you have a very straight nose right here, parallel line, and it is typical for type fours in their facial features. Your high cheekbone mirrors your jawline. It's the exact same. On it's a they're marrying each other right there, okay? Uh, your hair is, you've, she shared with me that her hair is colored. It's a little too warm for your type. And so it's kind of throwing it off and it's co looking, causing your skin to look ruddier than it is because your skin has a reflective quality. And in that reflective quality, it will pick up the warm undertones of the hair color and bring out redness and what looks like texture. Once you change your hair color to be more true, a type four color, your skin's gonna clear completely up. Oh, that'll be wonderful. It'll just clean up. Yeah, because you won't have that, that uh, warm energy casting into your skin, causing the redness. Okay. And it will clean it all up. And let me um, point out your hands. I look for parallel lines in the fingers and in type fours, as I teach you in my books. These are all the assessment tools that are in all of my books on the profiling. I'm looking for parallel lines and it's common for type fours to have the same width of finger all the way up, creating a parallel line between your fingers. And you have that. And you actually have fairly flat nail beds, which is a flat surface. That's a type four movement. And so again, we're looking for parallel lines, symmetry, um, those qualities that you express and, and balance as you again show in your posture, that innate quality of structure. Now you mentioned to me that this is making sense now, why? Um, well, in one of your, or in your book, you say think back to when you were little. Yes. But I was deaf when I was little. And so I don't remember what people said about me or... You actually um, had a condition? I got pneumonia when I was 18 months okay. old. And I was deaf for about five years. Okay. But you have and your so hearing now? That, that I do. Heal? Great. I, I regained it. That's fabulous. So, and I'm still impaired, but I function rather well. Yeah, you'd never but, know. So I don't remember what right. that was like or what people said mm -hmm. about me because I didn't hear them. Mm -hmm. So it was hard for me to um to think back to then. Well, now that I've mentioned it, now that I've confirmed that you're a type 4, what do you notice about yourself that you can relate to that? Um well, things are usually right and wrong with me. Yes. I'm I'm learning that there is gray, but for me it's it, there's still, not. There, it's for you still there's a pretty much right. cut and dry mm -hmm. either way. Right. Um so that's nice. Uh, and in my house, everything has a place and everything mm -hmm. is in its place. Notice your body language, a lot of <laughs> exactness in how she moves. Yeah. So I'm thinking that's really good because I didn't even consider a type four. I thought it was very rigid, but it actually feels comfortable mm -hmm. now, now that in you pointed that out. Rigid is a movement. It um, creates structure. People tend to relate that to a personality trait and I'm you know all of the keywords first reference movement that then can be expressed in personality traits and so people think I don't want to be rigid you know I want to be likable where I think of it as movement and you said everything has a place that's a structure you operate innately by bringing structure balance and exactness to your world you bring that, those are natural gifts in you. And so consider the possibility of the feedback where you use the word abrupt. Maybe blunt would be more of how you're just, you have an opinion in your home of how you want things to function and you have, you take a stand for that. You speak to that. You, you have more, def it's defined for you where maybe it's not so defined for your husband, see? So he's gonna right. see that as being, um, just more extreme, but in right. a type four way. So you just, again, you, 
it is your nature to be your own authority. And when you gave that authority to someone else to influence your type, you lost one of your key operating qualities to be clear. Right. You are not clear. You cannot be clear with yourself when you've given your authority to someone else. It is a function of you, and you only get clear answers when you operate as your own authority. And when you gave that away, you couldn't get a clear answer Okay. because you're your own authority. Do you like that? I do. Thank you. <laughs> you're going to look fabulous great. in a type. And so you, you're right now, even in your effort, sort of in being a type three, <laughs> it's really more type four, which is always okay. what I see. And it's like you have a little bit of pattern in your top. It's very minimal. You've got um, a very simple necklace, simple earrings that actually are parallel lines. No makeup on at this point, so you're very, uh, less is better in your world. You don't want all the movement. Yeah, that is so true. But I, I was a little intimidated by a four because the women on your videos are so beautiful. Okay, now, I love and that you I, brought, you I know. I didn't equate myself with that. I love that you brought this up because this is common as well, that you don't see yourself as what we say, stunning, because the beauty code word for type yeah. four women when they're dressing their truth is you're stunning. Now, I want you to think of their before pictures. Do they look stunning in their before pictures? I don't, I don't think they did. No, they don't. <laughs> they look pretty average. They're still attractive women, but they don't stand out for any particular reason. So it women before type four women before they dress their truth are not able to express their stunning beauty because they don't have all of the elements in place the five elements that you learn in the dressing your truth online course how to bring out that stunning beauty so guess what you have to look forward to i'm gonna be stunning you're a stunning woman <laughs> that'll be fun yeah so Thank you. if you relate to what Jamie's saying, that you've canceled that out, and again, very type four of you, all or nothing. Well, I cannot, <laughs> for these reasons, I can't be a type four, so I'm not even going to study it anymore. That's kind of what I'm going to look at it. Yeah. Yeah, which is very type four in your process. Okay. So I'm excited for you. I am too. You are a stunning woman. Thank you so much. Because I can see it. See, I know what you're, I have this ability to visualize what you will look like and it will be amazing and we don't have to worry about the five-year factor with your husband anymore <laughs> you just get to be you and look amazing and don't ever make that a concern okay any questions um when do i get started this is great right away i'm excited right thank away. you so much you're welcome well i was uh probably responding like you are right now my I had to pick my jaw up from the floor when I saw Jamie. I'm like, yeah. you're kidding me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, I've seen a lot of before and afters in my 10 years of doing this, and I'm still astounded that yeah. you're so beautiful. Thanks. You're Many of my neighbors didn't even recognize me. Really? They did. Yeah. The neighbor across the street, she's an older lady, and she was noticing that there was this short-haired woman across the street, but she and never saw relative? me kiss my husband. <laughs> so, but when I showed up on her doorstep, I had to actually speak before she was like, oh my gosh, it's you. <laughs> so I had, a, I had a great time. It was, and that wasn't the only time. There were many people who did not recognize me. That's cool. Yeah. So looking back now, how did you miss it? How did, could you, you know, what, I'm yeah. sure you're a type four energy. You've given yeah. this a lot of thought. <laughs> well, so what happened is in one of the videos that you did, um, you talked about how the fours have the porcelain skin. The fours are the models. The fours. No, no, I never, I want to, <laughs> I, I have to step in on this because, so apologize for interrupting you. I don't say women that have a type four energy should look like models. I yes. say that in the industry, it is typical that type four women are models right. because of certain attributes. And that started years ago before we had so much photo editing because right. they have very balanced, they have sy symmetry. So that's the, that's so that the was, confusion. Yes. You think, well, I don't look like a model. And I want to point out, 
that look at all of the before and afters of type four women. They're not they're not obviously stunning in their befores, but you are after. Yes. So anyway, then but, you so you just said, so well, that's I just not me. discounted it. I was like, there's no way I could ever look that beautiful. So that's kind. Of, I just kind of wrote off the four, which type. is very tight four of you. Also, this all or nothing yes. is to decide very with you know very succinctly say for the reasons you did, and you mm -hmm. just remove the possibility even. Yes, it's like okay, I'm not even look at that anymore. Pretty much all in. Made up my mind. That one's off the seconds. list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is very tight four of you. Yeah, to be that exact about it. That mm -hmm. to find that all or nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, so what else now? Thinking back, how you missed it? You yeah. You made that, um, which is common for type four women to do exactly what you just described. Yeah. So I really kind of struggled with was I really, um, you know, rigid and and balanced and all or nothing and black and white, or was it a result of some abuse? that mm -hmm. I endured as a child as far as like taking control, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I didn't know if that was really my true nature or mm -hmm. if that was a reaction of sort of like survival to experiences. And, and so I, I guess that's where I went wrong is that I, mm -hmm. you know, and of course I was kind of primed to be a two, like a, to, a type two to conditioned yes from from par my parents, parents and grandparents response to you i to, needed to be softer i needed okay. to go with the flow okay. and so you profiled so. yourself according to who you thought you should be not who you are right yeah which is if for those that do miss profile i would say that would be their reference of who they should be and that's why i stand by my conclusion that personality tests are looking at the personality you've been told you should be versus what um, in the beauty profiling system we look at attributes that are much more define defining of you right. your facial features well your and there's body things language. you can't change yeah they're concrete they're concrete so I like that so I just missed it, but I love That's it. That's okay. You look great. How are you feeling you. about your new look? How's that going in your Okay, so for the experience? first two weeks, just pretend you're the mirror. I was like, oh my gosh, that's me. <laughs> and I did that for like two weeks. I was like, oh my gosh, is that really me? I'd catch myself and I'd even like do a, you know, oh, like I'd have to really lean to, is that I was in love with myself. And your eyes. I don't know if you awesome. can see it on the camera, but your eyes, your phenomenal they're just Thanks. this striking blue though yeah. I didn't even really notice our yeah. first meeting and now they're no. just Aww. and so I I did not know that I could look and feel this good ever and so I really loved it um, my husband on the other hand has needed some time yes to adjust which is more so. true to his nature is he is a type two, yes. and that's just taking him a little out of his comfort zone of what yeah. he's used to. But you said right. he's warming up to it, and it's... He is just last week. I went and got my hair cut, and he says, you know, I, I really like your hair short. I'm, I'm really liking your new look. And so that was a great compliment Good. because he loves me, and he wants to support me, yes. and he's been really sweet, but I could tell he struggled a little bit. Yeah. And so it's well, nice that... You it's can be patient there. knowing his process. Yes, that, that, that definitely. Will just take, just, it's just a uh, shift. They don't shift as fast, and so that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's all good. What, um, any tips for women that are in the process of determining their type? Um, well, one, don't discount anything. Okay. Um, two, you've said it many times, but don't overthink it, because... <laughs> I was way up here and overthinking, well, could it be this? Could it be that? Is it a result of this? And so just, I overanalyzed everything. Yeah. Um, and then what really hit me was think about your childhood because that's concrete. When I shared my new look and dressing your truth with my family members, when they, they knew when I was young 
they were like, oh yeah, you're totally a four. And they got it like in five minutes. And I was like, seriously, how did I miss that? <laughs> so it was, it was easy um, for people who knew me when I was young uh-huh. to see my type fourness even when I missed it. Well, you're, it's good to have you back home with who you are and yeah. that you're really, I'm, I'm grateful that you're very comfortable with it. It feels correct to you. You look amazing. Yeah. And you know, your makeup videos are wonderful because well, I you. know how to put on makeup now Yeah. and I'm confident in, in knowing who I am and how to put myself together. I sh- you suggested shop at secondhand stores. Everything I owned is or everything I now own is from a secondhand store, and I look like I could have stepped out of a magazine I know. often. Did you love that? Yeah. So it's <laughs> it's really been liberating. It's been I want really to mention liberating. too. You've got our orange lipstick. Yes. And our orange bl- blush. And at first glance, women will go, "Whoa, orange!" But look how neutral and beautiful it is on you. I love it. It looks really great. Yeah. Actually, one Very natural. A few weeks ago. I looked in the mirror and I thought I was done and I thought, oh, my lipstick isn't bright enough. And I was like, seriously, you're thinking that? And (laughs) sure enough, I put a little bit brighter shade on and it just, it was that pop of color that was needed in my outfit. And so there are things that come to my mind that I never thought I could experience in a very good way and in a fashionable sense. Oh, good. Well, thank you for letting me help you. And thank you for helping all of these women continue to validate themselves because you're speaking in behalf of many women that their experience has been very similar. And again, our intent in these videos is to create more clarity and to empower women for self-recognition so that you're the person that knows yourself best. And you've spoken to that beautifully, Jamie. Thank you so much, Thank you.